guys, I'm Elena Scantlin. Stay tuned for answers to your cardio and weight training questions. Cardio and weight training, both very beneficial for our overall fitness, but how much and how often should we do of each? It's a question many of you have asked, and today we have your answers from Denise Austin and Sarah Fitz. Amy wanted to know how she should be mixing up cardio, strength training, and rest days. And is it okay to take days off, or will she put back on the weight she lost the day before by working out? Amy, we asked YouTube health guru Sarah Fitt your question, and here's what she had to say. So breaking up your strength and your cardio days is important in that you don't want to work the same groups of muscles back to back. You need to give them a break to repair and rebuild. So most health experts agree you should be doing five to six days a week of working out. And I recommend two to three of strength training and three to four of cardio depending on what your goals are. So if you're going to be doing strength training on Mondays, you're going to do cardio on Tuesday. Now, if you aren't sure about how you want to break things up, go ahead, look at your gym class schedule, pick out your favorite classes, and work around those. That's what I do a lot of times. I also enjoy taking Sunday off because I know they're usually packed with either traveling, family gatherings, or just lounging around because we all need one of those days. And don't worry about taking a day off. You're not going to gain back weight by taking a day off. You actually need that recovery day to really reap the benefits of your hard work in the gym. If you're not taking a day off, you're going to burn yourself out and you're going to stop seeing results real quick. So it's important to take at least one day a week off. Thanks, Sarah. Amy, we hope that helped. Be sure to get in those rest days and check out Sarah on her YouTube channel. Now, Lisa wanted to know if cardio should come before or after weight training in order to burn the most calories. We asked BFIT expert Denise Austin that exact question. Great question, and this is a big controversy. With us fitness experts, I tell you, it doesn't really matter if you do the cardio first or, and then the weight training or vice versa. Whatever best fits your schedule. I personally like to do a little cardio first to get the heart rate up and to sweat a little and then do my muscle toning. But honestly, it's a personal favorite. Whatever's best for you and whatever time you have, how to squeeze it in, that's the most important. And just doing it, you know, get it in. Fitness has, fitness has strength for toning. It's got cardio to burn fat and stretch for flexibility. So really you need all three for a perfect balance. I love Denise. So much energy and knowledge and workouts that will make you sweat. Check out the description section below for links to some of our favorite Denise Austin cardio and strength training workouts. And here's today's cardio and weight training episode roundup. Break up your weight training days with some cardio so as not to overdo the same muscle groups by training them back to back. It's okay to have rest days, guys. In fact, you need those rest days to fully recover and keep seeing those results. And when combining cardio with your weight training session, you can do it before or after, whatever best suits you. There you have it, guys. Make cardio and weight training your friend and continue being our friend by subscribing to Be Fit. If you have a question for one of our experts, then send in a video or comment below for a chance for your question to be answered on You Asked For It. Keep fit and strong, YouTubers. I'm Elena Scantlin. I'll see you next week.